you know, very honestly, looking back at the past two years and seeing whatever the state has gone through, you know, often it is speculated or you know, we're often asked about whether we're fighting for ourselves, whether we're fighting for our survival, whether we're fighting to get back what we lost or what was snatched away from us. Um, and this is not a personal fight at all. This is about the spirit of Maharashtra. This is about the pride of Maharashtra. And this is about what is being looted from Maharashtra. Um, the past two years have seen a government which has been backed by the BJP. Uh, our government was toppled by the BJP. This regime was installed by the BJP. This is, uh, of course, anti-constitutional. This is illegal. But in the past two years, the question to be asked is, what has Maharashtra achieved after having this regime on our heads? Nothing. Industries have gone away. Pharma suicides on the rise. Mumbai is being looted. Uh, you see the urban decay. In fact, just day before yesterday, when the illegal chief minister claimed in another conclave, Pucha ki pani bharai kya? Within half an hour, the Western Express Highway, which has not flooded since 2005, was flooded. This is the problem that we are facing with the regime. Whatever they're doing is to only loot Maharashtra and not really put Maharashtra on the front foot again. So, Mr. Fadnavis was here some time back and he was asked this question about Tod Ford ki Rajniti and all that. And he said that, look, we didn't go looking to break these parties, whether it was your party or uh, Mr. Sharad Pawar's party. Uh, those parties broke on their own when the party patriarch wanted to hand over the leadership to their progeny. In your case, your father wanted to hand over the leadership to you. And in NCP's case, Mr. Pawar wanted to hand it over to Supriya Sule. And that's why those parties broke from within. And then he said, Hum to Rajneeti mein bhajan bajane ke liye hai. If an opportunity arises, we will join hands and that's what happened. So how do you respond to that? No, no, I mean, the response has to be asked from his own party because forget our parties. Let's, let's take for one minute that he's not broken our parties. That's different. His capabilities aside, whether he's you know, capable of breaking our party or not, that's a separate thing altogether. What has happened to his party? What is his own standing in his own party? Does the center really take his opinion into any account or not? Today, if you see the top five leaders of the BJP in Maharashtra, most of them, out of five, I'll tell you four and a half, will be 2019 imports. The half will be a 2020 import. None of them are originally from the BJP. You look at the people from BJP who are with us, from Bajpai Ji's BJP, uh, Pramod Mahajan Ji's BJP, from Gopinath Munde Ji's BJP, none of them today have any leadership position in the BJP in Maharashtra today, only and only because Mr. Fadnavis thought that he could create his own coterie in the BJP and destroy the leaders who have created the BJP in Maharashtra.